Some skills, or perhaps features, are not in the gameplay, but hidden within the menus of the games you play. For example, in Sea of Thieves, we can make finding treasure easier, or reduce chaos to get better cannon aim by changing some settings in the menu. This video will go through the essential options that could be optimized to fine-tune your adventures, with the pros and cons, and how they affect your gameplay. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides in gameplays. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Not every game setting will be covered, as some are simply personal preferences based on your gaming environment and have no direct effect on gameplay. The menu has changed a lot recently, all options are still there, but I've covered some of these in older videos, and the menu looked different. Now, we have way more options, and as the game grows, we get more control over our preferences while sailing, causing the menu to continuously change and evolve every few updates. For example, the Trident of Dark Tides option did not exist before Season 3, obviously, since this item was not available. So, you will be seeing seasonal videos of Sea of Thieves settings like this whenever it's due. Let's get started. Getting this one out of the way. Audio settings. In every scenario, try and use headphones with proximity chat enabled and directional sound. Sometimes players talk in the game where you can hear them. With that, you can know which direction they are coming from or what ladder they are about to use to board your ship. Moving to gameplay and input. We get two options from the top when entering the gameplay input section in the settings menu. The first one is to reduce hold with interactions like cannons. The second one is the same but with items and our tools. This means instead of holding down the button to achieve a result, one click to trigger and another to remove. This seems to improve the experience with cannons, makes it much easier with the initial press. But I have noticed it could have a drawback in a few other areas. So these could make a difference depending on your ship type and your usual sailing Crew. Allow me to explain. As I was testing this in one of my streams, I accidentally dropped the anchor on our slope instead of interacting with sails. This is due to both interaction prompts being close to one another, the capstan and the police. So when doing quick turns, the button could trigger the wrong action. This means in areas of intense action, players may find themselves pressing buttons that do not provide the expected result when interacting with items. However, the larger the ship, the less common this issue will be due to further spacing between objects, causing less error, so you can change that depending on your usual ship type. But there's one more thing, the water barrel. I usually fill the barrel faster by holding down the button and letting go as soon as the water pours in, almost halfway through the animation. That is enough to serve, no need to pull all the way down. So when letting go of the button, it restarts the filling process. But with the reduce hold enabled, you will have to click twice, one to start and another to stop and reset, making it slightly slower. It is a minor case that shouldn't be a problem either way. But I thought of pointing this out since it could relate to other items in the game that I might have missed. With this option disabled, you can fill the water barrel faster. The second one is the same but related to tools. Instead of holding down the initial press to activate the tool like a spyglass and compass, I prefer holding down, as sometimes you need a quick spyglass to check a border then moving to your weapon of choice. So pressing once, letting go is faster than clicking twice, as when it gets to PvP, every second matters. Now moving to another one. I don't see why this will ever be used unless you never want to engage in PvP ever, which is impossible. Auto Center Camera The camera goes to the middle screen after a set delay. May be useful for specific accessibility controls, but not suitable for PvP, because it could change aim while waiting. It also changes while holding down aim down sights. Imagine someone boarding a ladder, and suddenly, this setting overrides your aim and causes you to miss since you shot somewhere else. Auto Float in Water Some get disoriented after lots of movement, so it's helpful to have. Not to forget, by holding down the jump button, you will float vertically upwards to the surface. This is good to have and of course depends on your playstyle. Now let's get to the graphics and this is where the important stuff is. Visibility then disable blur. This removes the acid trip from the ghost loot, making sure that you are actually sober. Another one is disabling screen shake. This one is very important. It wasn't there in earlier days. Some players reported getting dizzy or disoriented from continuous cannon shots. Later, Rare gave us the ability to remove it, causing 99.999% of the community to remove it, since this allows you to do a sequence of shots without shaking cameras, leading into overall better cannon aim. And while we're at it, if you do not know, holding the block button while on the cannon provides a little zoom effect. On the other hand, this is just my advice. Flares look nice, but severely impact your naval battles since the flash blinds what's coming from the other side for a short amount of time before you can see again. Also, without a flare, you can do a sequence of shots faster so you can always see where the cannonball is landing. 
if you want optimized cannons, disable camera shake and never add a flare. Not to forget, you can watch my cannons video. All the way down, we have high contrast, X marks the spot. This helps a lot when finding treasure. If you remember, I mentioned this in my earlier video, how using these red plants is one of the best references to locating buried treasure. By default, these axes are red, but white axes separate from red bushes and are essential to finding treasure and island locations. They are larger and pop out from any other color on the map, causing your treasure hunt to be more accessible. By having red axes, you could be confused by which one is a red plant if it's right under the X, but white ones make all that clear. They are larger and pop out from any other color on the map, causing your treasure hunt to be more accessible. Red X marks a spot could confuse the location and visibility of red plants on your map. Please subscribe if you enjoy my content and if you found any value in this video. Fuzzy here, happy sailing.